don't adjust your TV sets, Spurs are top of the league. So let's try and recreate Nuno's tactic. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the channel that's right we're going to recreate Nuno Espirito Santos's tactic with Spurs after three games of top of the league no one predicted that it's something I want to do more on the channel try and do some recreations of teams that are doing well and Spurs jumped out first of all so let's get to what we've got and why so this is the tactic I'm running with it's a 4-3-3 uh, we've looked at the first three games of the season. The problem is they played Man City, which is a bit of an outlier because you just don't have the ball. So when you're trying to see like how much possession they've got and the sort of range of passing and what to do with it, it's hard when you come against a team that is so dominant. It kind of skews everything else. I'm going to go through this part of it. I'm going to show you some of the research. I've also got a stat zone on my phone. I looked at for passing combinations and interceptions and those things, but I'm not technically experience enough to, to bring it up might do screenshots and do them for next one okay so we've got super keeper on defend which is the standard it's going to come out but not take too much risk he's not manuel neuer or ederson got the wing back on automatic and the reason why he's on automatic is so you can add more roles to it we want him getting forward but spurs don't cross a lot and i'll show you that in a second we don't dribble. If you do a fullback on support, they dribble wide. We don't want that. We don't want them dribbling. Just want them doing passing, getting up and down. Uh, on the games, even though it's not Ori and it's uh, Tananga, he's been the most advanced of the two, which I was a bit surprised at. So we've got the fullback on automatic on the left. But again, cross less often. We still want him to get it forward, but we just don't want him to let like, drive into the... the the byline. And then we've got the two centre backs with staying wider uh, and take a few risks. If you watch any game, they, they go wide, the full backs go on, you've got Oliver Skip dropping. That's why he's a DM on defend. He drops into that space, but he's he's not the playmaker. That goes to Heuberg. He's the one that gets most of the ball when you look at the average passes per game. Skip sort of recycles it, gives it to Heuberg. He's the focal point in the midfield. So he's that's why he's a DLP. The game will take the ball to him more. Ali's the one I struggled with because you don't quite want him as an advanced playmaker. Box to box isn't right because he's not been getting a lot of the heat map doesn't show him in the defensive third. And you want him driving forward and getting to join the attacks. I think the Mazala on supports for FM is probably the best or well, maybe a centre mid on support and you put him on get further forward. But I thought the Mazala is a really good role and it kind of suits what he's been doing uh, this season. On the left uh, with Bergwijn, I've struggled with him as well because he's not been driving in the box. He doesn't dribble as much as the others. He stays wide. He is a winger. He's, he is going to is gonna dribble, but you look at the, the stats, he's not a big dribbler. On the right, we've got the inside forward for Son, because Son makes those off-ball runs to link up with Harry Kane, get him behind the defence. He leads the team in dribbles, so you get him on attack, so he's driving at them as well. And then, obviously, we've got Harry Kane will be the main man as this complete forward on attack, because he links up. He's not an advanced forward. He's dropping, he's holding up, he's finding teammates, doing all those good things. In possession, I'm going to play it on positive... It's probably a mix between positive and balance. I think they'll probably go more balance away from home against the bigger teams like City. But most of the time, you want them on positive, making forward-thinking decisions, playing fairly wide. It's shorter passing for standard tempo. And this is the thing about football manager. This is not me not creating a let's win the league with Spurs, sort of play the game, play the odds. But manager doesn't always recreate a real, real life. What I'm trying to do here is create the system that Nuno's using in the game. It may be successful, it might not, but it's trying to get as close to a replication as we can. Uh, we're going to work the ball into the box. Spurs rarely cross the ball. It's all short, decisive passing, so we'll do that with work the ball into the box. Uh, and nothing else ticked on there. Uh, we're going to counter because they do. There's a, a good chance against the in the Wolves game where they good interception in midfield, uh, advanced up, nearly got a goal. So they're definitely looking to counter and play on the attack when they get the ball. We're distributing the ball to the centre-backs because we're playing out from defence. And then out of possession, 
Defensive line, I'm going with standard because they're not high up. You look at some of the interceptions and where they win the headers, they're not high up the pitch. They're letting them come on to them. And then we're going with a higher line of engagement with Kane, Son, Bergwijn. You could even drop it down to standard, I think. Probably for away games, you'd have a standard version. And the pressing intensity, we're going with more urgent. Played through a lot of the season games. You can see this, a 1-1 draw with City is really good. Beat Slavia Prague uh, in the Europa League. Yeah. Then a win against Leicester, a win against West Ham. A 1-0 defeat to Chelsea is absolutely fine. It's Chelsea away. Lost on penalties to Leicester and I'm guessing the Carabao Cup. Beat Brentford, beat Leeds, lost to Everton away. 2-0, it can happen. Beat Southampton, 2-0. Like, although they're 7th, I don't find those results show anything worrying that the tactic doesn't work. What's really excited me is the goals against is 12 from 16 games. Now, when you win three games 1-0 in the Premier League, your defence is solid. Even against Man City, you've kept them out who put five past Norwich and Arsenal. Defence is really solid. In the attack, it's not great. 18. Uh, Liverpool scored 55, everyone else is in the 30s. That's the problem. And, look, and in the game, in this game in FM, you put Harry Kane as an advance forward, you end up scoring more goals, I think. This is just trying to get more to the realism. So what we're going to do now, we're going to play Arsenal on camera and we're going to see this be destroyed and I'm going to cry and you're going to think I'm rubbish. So let's get into that. It doesn't help me doing a recreation when Son's out for six weeks. So we'll play Lucas Moore over there. Trying to get the team as much close as it was. We'll play Deli Alley, even though Indombia is probably better. It's very interesting. Basically, what, what FM screams to you is uh, Nuno is not using the right players in all the positions. But Indombele fits those two more. You want Indombele as DLP, Hoiberg goes to DM, but this is part of the fun. So I've tried to get the team as close to the Watford game as we can. Got the set pieces set up for corners, which will be, if you download the tactic, you'll see them. It's all pretty standard near post things, but getting the right players in the right roles. So we'll play the first half in 2D so we can get a look at how the system works. Does the centre-backs pass that around? That's what you want to see. Corner kick, will these work? Hoiberg to take, plays it in. Hey, Eric Dyer! And it showed you that Son's goal came from a free kick against Watford, so set pieces are going to be really big. So I'm glad to see the team scoring from them. Big boy header. Definitely get them set up, but if you've not got your set pieces set up, what are you doing? Interesting, they've only got 46% possession, which kind of ties in with the, the City game. Like, Arsenal, if they were not an absolute fucking dumpster fire, are a team that would dominate you possession. Like, that's what they do. And Spurs, Spurs aren't. So maybe in this case, this is where maybe we go balanced and standard passing. Right back another corner. Oof. It's a penalty. Yes, go on, boys. Get those set of pieces. You you can win penalties. Kane tucks it away. Hundred and fifty goal for Spurs. Good pen from the big man. Another set piece, set piece is key, Hoiberg, Dyer. So if you look, possession wise, 43 is where it kind of was for the City game. But passes completed 89%, that's what you're looking for. Chances, high, oh, the 0.7 for the penalty takes it way above Arsenal. That's not ideal. So this is the shape without the ball, which it looks pretty good. So Hoiberg and nearer to skip alley, then that little space. The two wingers coming back and looks like leaving Kane on his own. And with the ball, probably not got the wing the wing backs as high. Hoiberg's would be a little bit too high, and we're not getting we're not getting the same off Lucas as we got from Son. That's that's an issue. And uh, there's the pass map, which looks pretty good. You've got the centre backs out to the full back into Hoiberg a DLP. It makes a lot of sense. It's just and it's very, very England-esque of just not getting enough of the ball to Harry Kane. That's going to be key for Spurs this season, is making sure he's not isolated, which he looks like there. But everything else is kind of working out as expected. Let's see if we can get some more examples in the second half. Need to get the ball to Kane more. I really liked when they, they won the ball back. You look at that shape there, you've got back four on a good line. Skips come across to cover. You've got Hoiberg centrally. 
Lucas Moura doing that good defensive run. It was Son won a ball, like kind of went across in a similar on the weekend. It's good to see that even though you're playing two attackers on the wings, they're coming back and doing that defensive work as well. Like even though Arsenal are passing that around really well, the shape's really good to watch defensively. They're not getting exposed. There's always a man in front of the ball. Delhi is that Mazala support, you know, he's not losing position. Ah, oh, he's getting away a penalty. It wasn't a penalty at the end, so that's really good. So Arsenal having much more possession, but they are 2 0 down, so you, you would probably expect that. And the team looks good for it. They're not struggling. Make some changes for some tired legs. This is a really solid defensive performance. I hope you can see it on the screen as well. Men behind the ball, cutting off the dangerous passing lanes. Great defence again, give it to Kane, there's support and Dumbelli's on. That's the problem sometimes with it. Like, if I'm Spurs and I'm using Kane, I want like a false nine or a number ten around him. And it's probably a role that doesn't, doesn't suit football managers, like you'd have Son just off him to the right, but he's not a forward, but he's not a winger. It's like maybe a support striker like to the right of him would be what Son does better. But that's a really I think a hard role to define on this game. I think the inside forward matches the movement you want. And that's a start and wide position defensively. But you can see here when Kane gets it, it's just not a lot going on, is there? What can he do on his own? Thought he was gonna have a shot there. It's Kane's in. That was better football, that was really good, I enjoyed that passage there. That was good to see the support. Good patient passing. Look at those triangles, that is beautiful. See that little bit of cutting edge, oh, if you had Son. That was a really good move. There we go, 2 0 win, perfect for the camera, a corner and a penalty. But I'm glad you could see some of the movement that is really what we're looking for from this tactic. There we go, joint top best defence in the league. Only 12 conceded, 20 scored is better. Yeah, they've lost five, but you're bedding in a new system. Like I was saying on the video, the only thing I'd possibly change is I think perhaps you play Son there as a shadow striker with stay wider, run from position, you're getting the width from Doherty. Uh, you can maybe ask Hoyer to stay wider as well. Like you saw in the average position map, he was out wide. And then you're getting the width on the right, but you're getting someone close to Kane. So that's something to try. Uh, I'll save a version to upload that as well. But the link to download this will be in the description. Let us know what you think of this style of video. I want to do more of these because I find it quite interesting researching and looking and trying to recreate. Maybe it's more for me. Uh, if you're a Spurs fan, try it out. Let me know how you get on. Please drop a comment. Please drop a like. Until next time, our next tactics recreation, I'm Andrew, bye for now.